It's hard to believe that it's been over 30 years since we've seen our favorite senior ladies on television. The Golden Girls, starring Estelle Getty, B. Arthur, Betty White, and Rue McClanahan, became an instant hit and a recipient of four Emmy Awards. While we would like to find out what the cast of The Golden Girls is up to, unfortunately, the only main member alive from the show is Betty White. Almost to make a century, Betty has been active in various works, regardless of her age. So today, let's catch up on what Betty White has been doing as of 2021. But before we continue, please subscribe to our channel and be part of our family by ringing the bell. Betty White Career Popularly known for her role in The Golden Girls, Betty White has been involved in a laundry list of movies and TV series. Before playing the lead in The Golden Girls, the actress starred in shows including The Mary Tyler Moore Show and The Betty White Show. After appearing in 180 episodes of The Golden Girls, Betty went on to star in The Golden Palace, Maybe This Time, and Ladies Man. Besides that, she has also appeared in The Bold and the Beautiful, That 70s Show, and The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. On top of that, the actress performed in movies like Holy Man, The Retrievers, and Bringing Down the House. She has also lent her voice in The Wild Thornberries, The Origin of Donnie, The Lorax, and Toy Story 4. Betty White Achievement and Net Worth The soon-to-be 100-years-old Betty has been working on screen for over 80 years. According to sources, it is said that the actress makes $3 million a year just from the Golden Girls reruns. White has won five Primetime Emmy Awards, two Daytime Emmy Awards, including Lifetime Achievement Awards. She was inducted into the Television Hall of Fame in 1995 and had a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame at Hollywood Boulevard alongside the star of her late husband, Alan Ludden. The actress, comedian, author, and television host has an estimated net worth of $75 million as of 2021. As of now, Betty has also been working as an advocate for animals' welfare and health. A little bit about the rest of the girls. While Betty is the only Golden Girl who is alive from the group, the demised cast members also had promising careers during their running. Following her appearance on the Golden Girls, Rue McClanahan went on to guest star in shows like Murder, She Wrote, Newhart, and King of the Hill. The actress died at the age of 76 after suffering a brain hemorrhage. Being known for her role as Sophia Petrillo in The Golden Girls, actress Estelle Getty appeared in Empty Nest, The Golden Palace, Blossom, and Nurses. Her final movie role was in the 1999 action comedy Stuart Little. The actress passed away at the age of 84 in 2008. Actress B. Arthur portrayed the sarcastic and compassionate Dorothy's Bornack. Following her role in The Golden Girls, the actress made appearances in shows including The Golden Palace, Malcolm in the Middle, and Richard and Judy. Her film appearances include Lovers and Other Strangers and Mame. B. lost her battle with lung cancer in 2009. Which Golden Girl won the most Emmys? While all four of the ladies did a fantastic job in the show, the question of which of the Golden Girls has received the most Emmys has always been the main question. As per sources, Betty White, throughout her 80-year career, has won a total of eight Emmy Awards for the roles she has portrayed in several TV series. Even though Betty is just one year short of making the century mark, the 99-year-old is set to appear in the 2021 TV film, Untitled Lifetime Christmas Movie. So, who is your favorite from the Golden Girls? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel.